Welcome back to another video. I decided to do something pretty stupid. Ty, why the fuck would you buy anything off of Timu? You know Timu is a scam. Timu does seem like a scam. Most of these clothes that I bought were like $2. I know, I know, I know. It seems like a bad idea. I wanted to give Timu a chance to see if they can give me some quality, nice, new clothes because honestly, I've never gone thrift shopping, so I don't understand the process. I don't even know where to go to go to thrift shop. I'm a pretty trusting person, and honestly, it's probably one of my downfalls. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Let's get into the Timu thrift shop haul. Yeah. All right, so here we are. This is gonna be our wardrobe room. As you guys can see, I have the clothes to the left. I have my ring light here. And today, I only have one mission. I wanna find out, is Timu really a scam? First, I gotta get into the appropriate attire, so let's take off of this. All right, so here we are. As you can see, today we're gonna be a Timu model. Let's try on the first shirt and see if it's actually good quality. All right, so starting first up, as you can see, I have this Los Angeles oversized shirt. I was going for more of an edgy streetwear type of vibe. But first impressions, one thing I really like about this is a very soft shirt. Shopping from Timu, I thought it was gonna be very low quality. As you can see, it has this cool logo design on it that says Los Angeles. I've never been to LA, so this might give up the wrong vibe. Coming closely, I don't know how to describe it, but it has this cotton or I don't even know what it, how to explain it, but it has this weird material woven in between it. I haven't been to the gym in a long time, but it does fit my arms pretty well, you know, it doesn't look too big on me, which is one thing I really was scared of. Shopping online is one of the scariest things because you're not able to put it on first and try it on, so you never really know how it's gonna look on your body, but honestly, it looks pretty good. With this type of shirt, I would wear this more going out to maybe a bar or a club here in Miami. This is a very good shirt for everyday use, everyday wear. This is good for like a party type of vibe or you're just trying to relax. It doesn't look like I'm doing too much. This is a very nice shirt to just blend in with the crowd, not stand out too much which is really nice. Luckily, the blacks mesh well together. You know, I really see me just wearing this out in Miami, just regular day, you know, not doing too much. This is a very chill, kosher type of look. And to be honest with you, I'm happy with it, so this is definitely gonna go into the collection. All right, so starting off, we're off to a good start. All right, so next up, as you can see, I have a sweater here. So I wanted to switch it up. You know, I don't really have many sweaters. Luckily, it does fit pretty well. It doesn't go too far past my hands. You know, it stops just where it needs to. I don't want this to stick out too much. I feel like having very colorful clothes, it's hard to match that with anything else. So I try to keep very neutral colors, blacks, browns, of course, white, because white can go with anything. So my first impressions, the shirt is very warm to wear. It's a very comfortable shirt. Of course, with this, you know, I'm not gonna be wearing this too much just because I do live in Miami. In Miami, most of the time it's hot. We are in hurricane season, so it's been raining a lot. I might better wear this for a little bit. Around Christmas season, I'm definitely gonna wear this around the fam, you know, go to the fireplace. I might wear this around the house, you know, just lounge and just chill. I might look for some pants that's gonna match this, this type of vibe. Now, I can't read what it says. I should have read it. I don't know what it says. Maybe you can read it from here. But um, I like it, you know, let me know what you guys think. Comment below if you guys like any of the things that I bought. You know, I was scared that this was gonna be, you know, a piece of shit, but honestly, it looks like it's pretty chill. This is definitely giving off boyfriend vibes, you know. I think it's, I think I made a good decision. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But honestly, no, this definitely does belong in the collection, so we're gonna add it. I do need a hanger though, I need a hanger. Yo, I just gotta say, yo, if there's anybody out there that's looking for any modeling, you know, hit me up, you know what I'm saying? I got the body, I got the looks, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can model, you know? I can, Hollister, Adidas, you know what I'm saying? All day, all day I dream about sex. I can do it, you know, I'm here. All right, so here we are. I switched it up. As you can see, I have the lavender, I don't even know what they call this, the lavender shirt, you know, lavender thing, you know? This is the first shirt, I gotta admit, it doesn't feel like it's the best quality. To be honest with you, this one just feels cheap. Now, it could be the material, or it could be the way they made it, but it just doesn't feel like it's gonna last too long. The color I do like, so it is a lavender or purplish type of shirt. It's a very unique kind of color. I like that. This is definitely giving off Miami vibes. You know, I can definitely see me wearing this at the beach or something. Now, the thing about this shirt is, when you button it up, it can also go off as a more formal type of look. I could also wear this to a wedding or something. And I like that it does mesh well with the black pants. But one thing I never understood, why do people put pockets here? I don't understand. Do people actually use these pockets? Are these pockets actually usable? Like, does anybody like, hold on. Does anybody like get their phone and like stick it here? Like, what is this pocket actually used for? Like, do you put like cash here? Like, I don't understand 
Like what goes there? Is it for, just for the look? I don't know. But aside from the quality, I do like the look of the shirt. So no one ever touches it and feels like how it feels how like rough it feels. You would never know. Like, it does look like you know a pretty decent nice shirt. I really just see me strolling the streets of Miami, just chilling, doing my thing. You know, just being tight. And I'm getting compliments like, yo, it's a nice shirt. That's a nice pink shirt. I don't really see a lot of people wearing vibrant colors, mainly because, as I said before, it's hard to match it with anything. But this is a very nice lavender shirt, so it does match well with the black. I can also see it being good with white. So with this one, I'm, I'm kind of iffy on it. I'm not really too into putting it into the wardrobe yet, but I do like it. So we're going to keep it as the iffy. I'm gonna just throw it on top and we're gonna see, maybe we're gonna throw it in, I don't know. But yo, honestly, when it's unbuttoned, it shows my abs, I like that, you know. All right, so I decided to buy a blue variant of the shirt. Now this one does feel a bit better in quality, is is more soft. Don't ask me why I have sterile gloves, I don't know why, I just do. Doesn't it look like I'm a mechanic or I'm here to do a diagnosis or something, like I just, I'm getting, I'm getting very doctoral vibes right now. It has a very unique texture. It has these little bitty grooves or lines going through the whole shirt. It is a good fit. You know, I can really see me wearing this to like a sporting event. I don't know why, maybe I'm crazy. I just see me out, you know, at the Lakers game or a baseball game and I'm just chilling back. And you know, I'm just, you know, foot out and I'm just looking, you know? I just, I see me, I, I see, don't you see, I see that, don't you? I don't know, I have that one-on-one -on -one connection with that. Maybe, don't you see it guys? When you're wearing clothes, it's meant to be comfortable. Like, I don't give a fuck how much it costs. If it's $10,000 but it doesn't feel good, if you're not comfortable in it, it's not a good shirt. I don't want to go out in the city and just be uncomfortable all day and be super fucking hot because I want to look good. No, you should prioritize feeling good than spending a bunch of money. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. It does feel like good quality, so I am going to put it in the wardrobe, you know. I do see me wearing this somewhere. All right, so here we go. Now, this was a weird choice for me because Honestly, at first, it was kind of throwing me off. If you look on the back, I don't know what's really going on here. I don't know, but it does say Dream Maker, which what got me. Over here, we like to talk about positivity, chasing your dreams, you know, following your passion. So when I saw Dream Maker, I just had to get it. And it does feel like pretty decent quality. I will say the only thing I don't like about it is it's a very thin shirt. Shirts like that tend to not last as long. So I don't know how long this shirt can really last. It does have a pretty cool design, so I'm not too mad, you know. I might wear it a couple times here and there. Hopefully no one gets scared of the back, you know, because the, the tears and crying and stuff. I don't know. If you look at my collection, I don't have many streetwear clothes. I bought most of the clothes when I was 16. And when I was 16, I dressed literally terribly. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to put styles together. I didn't know how to make, you know, colors match or anything. So I was really just throwing darts and darts, darks in the dark. What? I was really just shooting in the dark, you know, with the look. I feel like I finally gotten to a point where I can kind of put a style together. I do like it. So with that being said, we are going to add it to the wardrobe. All right, moving on next. This has to be one of, if not my favorite shirt. So of course I dig over the more oversized look and I really like the colorway on it. So if you look very closely, it has this dark charcoal look to it. And it's not really doing too much. You know, I hate when people go out and try to put on purple pink blue and try to stand out so much like bro you look you look stupid you're you look like you're trying way too hard with this you know i'm not trying too hard this is a very nice shirt now it is a bit bigger on the arms like my sh my elbow is here but i feel like that's how it's supposed to look you know maybe i have to just get used to how that looks but with the tats you know it does fit pretty good you know i like it now this is definitely a streetwear type of vibe you know i'm wearing this out to the city late night out clubbing, maybe partying. I don't I don't party a lot, but you know, if I were to party, I would definitely be wearing this to a party. What I like most about this is that it doesn't have any logos or design. This is a very easy going look. I can really put this on with anything. I don't have to try too hard. And I gotta say, this might be my favorite shirt out of all the bunch that I have tried. Actually, honestly, yes, this does say Los Angeles on it, but it's very minimum. It just says Los Angeles. So it's either between this one or this one. Let me know what you guys like more in the comments. I feel like this one's better. I don't wanna make this video too long. Let's just go to the next shirt. I like it. It's going to the wardrobe. Yeah, box. let's go. All right, so here we are. As you can see, you have this nice light brown beige type of shirt. Honestly, I thought Timu was gonna be a complete scam. We're not gonna get anything good, but honestly, I'm actually kind of happy with what is, was, you know, yeah. When I first thought about doing this video, I thought I was gonna get in here, get trash clothes, clown Timu for a little bit, but honestly, it's not looking too bad. Honestly, I wish I would've got a smaller size just because of 
the type of shirt it is, you know, if it was more tight to my body, I feel like it'll look a bit better than it does now because it is kind of a bit a bigger shirt. And I don't like the way it feels. So it feels like, feel like it was made out of silk or some other kind of material that's very that's very slippery and that's the way to explain it in the back it has this on it so i do like the design i don't want to put in the wardrobe just yet i don't really have much else to say about this you know it is what it is it's a whatever shirt um so yeah i gotta be honest with you i kind of regret this one now the reason i got this shirt is because it has this cool dragon design if you guys see i do have a dragon tattoo it's supposed to symbolize you know strength wisdom and intelligence and that type of thing when i first saw it you know i decided to get it but honestly looking at it now i don't really like it that much it has the same feel as the last one you know it has that more silk kind of feeling i don't like that feeling i like to have a shirt that feels like made of cotton or more not expensive that's not the word more traditional feel you know a traditional shirt where it's made of cotton or wool or something i like that kind of feel this one just feels like it's dry fit or something i don't like that it kind of it is kind of big too it goes way past my desired point so i don't really like it that much so i'm gonna put this in the no category um so we're gonna just let's just let's just get rid of that yeah we're done with that here again we have a black shirt this one i do like this one has more of the same look as the first shirt. This white feathery cloth woven in between the black. You know, nice, cool purple um, roses. Purple is my favorite color. I had to get it. Also see me wearing this more like, you know, out in the city, just walking around. Just a very normal shirt, you know, it's not doing too much. If you guys can't tell, I really like wearing black. You know, black is my look, you know, I feel like black, Black goes with anything. So I'm definitely gonna put this in the yes category. You know, it's matching my vibe completely. Purple, you know, it's black, cotton. I love it, you know. I can't say I can't say anything too bad about it. This was definitely gonna be a yes. We're gonna put it right over here. All right, so last up, I had to go off on a good message. So if you read the bag, you know, it just it's a very positive message to everybody that's behind you. As I said before, I try to keep the channel very positive inspiring. So when I read You Are Enough, I had to get it and it is black. So with this one is completely straight black, a straight jet black shirt. Again, this can go with anything. You can put this on with black jeans and maybe white jeans if you're feeling lucky, I guess. And for anybody that's behind you, it's giving a very positive message. Uh, I live in Miami, so I had to go for that look. I'm 22 now, I have to grow up. I'm not wearing Adidas anymore. Adidas, I still will be the model. I know I'm not wearing Adidas anymore, you know, I've grown up. I'm more mature, so I'm trying to get more of that mature look. I'm getting older, but I'm not doing too much type of vibe, so I do like it. And I forgot one thing, I did buy jewelry. I do want to show you guys that. Give me one second. Probably one of the dumbest decisions. I bought jewelry off of Timu. I know that this is gonna be fake. It's, gonna, it's probably gonna turn my neck green. I just had to get it. First up, I have these pearls here. Um, it, it's kind of more of like a choker look, as you can see. I'm not gonna put it on fully, but it's giving more of a choker look. I've never had pearls. I've always wanted like a pearl necklace just because, I don't know, it gives, it's, it's giving, I don't know if I can put, if I can just put it on like that. It's giving old money. I feel like I should be on a yacht or something and just, living my best life. This gold dice also came with it. So it's a three piece set, I believe. It has this cool dice. Oops, can I stop? It has this cool dice at the end. Now, one thing about this, I know for a fact it's not gonna last long. Number one, because it's probably fake. And number two, it's super thin. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but the diameter has gotta be like a half a centimeter. It's super thin, like one tug, this thing is broken. It also comes with this one. This is a bit thicker, but this is what it would kind of look like if I had them both on like that. You know, it doesn't look too bad, but the only sad thing is I know it's not gonna last long. You know, the gold on it, more than likely gonna rub off, probably gonna turn my neck green, so I'm not gonna better wear it for that long, but maybe I can wear it for like a month or two. I do like the way it looks. I do like the dice, it's a bit different. I never really had different type of jewelry. I've always had my silver chain, so buying this was pretty cool. I also bought this silver chain, so silver, I feel like it matches my skin tone the most. I'm not the most versed into, you know, putting styles together, as I said before, but I do know that you wanna, you know, get jewelry that matches your skin tone because of the color theory or whatever, or the color of your veins or whatever. I don't really know, but I did buy this nice silver chain. It's a one piece. That's the percent I put it on. That's what it would look like. Not a bad chain, you know, it stops where it should. You know, I like, I don't like chains that go too far down my chest because I just feel like it, it looks tacky to me, I don't know. This video turned out a lot better than I thought. When I first thought about doing this video, I honestly thought that when I bought these clothes, they were gonna come off very tacky or very cheap looking. But honestly, as you guys can see, it doesn't look too bad. Honestly, I can wear this 
and I don't feel too insecure about myself. I can go out into Miami streets where people got ten million dollar cars, and I don't feel I don't feel bad. You know, I feel pretty good. Is Timo a scam? I don't know. I have not done my research. I don't know why it's such a big controversy. To me, it's just another website like AliExpress or Etsy. I just see it as another one of those companies. But apparently, everyone says they're scams. You don't get your products. Honestly, I got everything that I bought, so I don't know what's going on. I'm happy, you know. Hey, I don't use Timu a lot. I've only used it two times, so maybe, you know, third time's a charm. I'm gonna get fucked over. Who knows? But for me, I like it. I got the clothes. I'm happy with it. I did add a lot of new clothes to the collection. I'm happy that, you know, I got my clothes from Timu and didn't get scammed. But I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you made it this far, you know what you must do. Do the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I will see you guys in the next video. With that being said, I love you guys.